Hi, hello everyone. My name is Ted from Japan. The World Economic Forum, a private research organization in Switzerland, has announced its Travel and Tourism Development Index 2021. Japan ranked first among the 117 economies covered in the assessment. Since the survey began in 2007, this was the first time for Japan to top the list. This shows Japan's high attractiveness as a tourist destination can be said to have been proven. In my Deep Japan video series, I will provide useful, helpful, and deep information of various sightseeing areas in Japan so that foreign tourists can get the best sightseeing performance. I hope my video series are helpful when you make your plans to visit to Japan. Today's theme is Hakone, where many people from Japan and abroad visit throughout the year. Before explanation of each spot, I show you the timeline of the attractions in Odawara and Hakone as an indication of oldness of tourism resources. Because there are many historic sites and historical monuments in Japan, these are the main highlights for many foreign tourists. So I think it is important for tourists to recognize the era of the attractions to understand its historical value correctly. This timeline shows that the history we can learn in Hakone is mainly around the Edo period 1603 to 1867 through the old Tokaido Road and the Hakone checkpoint, etc. This is the general picture of Hakone area, including its main attractions and the transportations. Hakone is the part of the Fuji Hakone is National Park. This region embodies all Japan's most characteristic geographic features, volcanic mountain, lake, grass field, wetland. So there are attractive mountain railway, cable car, ropeway, pleasure boat for sightseeing. In addition to these charms of nature, there are also renowned museums in Hakone, where both adults and children can enjoy art and culture. Commonly, Many tourists use trains from Tokyo to Hakone. If you would like to go to Hakone directly, you use Odakyu Romance car from Shinjuku Station. Like this map, Hakone Yumoto is the terminus of Odakyu line, so you can reach Hakone Yumoto without transfer. Hakone Free Pass which is issued by Odakyu Group, covers almost all journeys departing from Shinjuku, plus local transportation and discounted entry for some sites. On the other hand, when you use Shinkansen or JR Tokaido line from Tokyo, you need to transfer at Odawara Station. I will explain about the romance car in this slide. This is one of the romance car trains. Currently, there are four types of train. These are inside seats with braille information for seat number. Some information and electrical outlet are also available in the seat. And we can pull out a table from armrest for meal or drink. In this slide, I will explain about the golden route of Hakone or Hakone Loop. 
Golden route of Hakone is the popular tourist route that takes in the major sites, and we can visit main attractions effectively. By using Hakone Tozan Tetsudo first from Odawara or Hakone Yumoto, we go to Gora area. And next, by cable car and ropeway, we visit Owakudani and reach Togendai, the edge of Lake Ashinoko. From Togendai, we go to the area, including Hakone Checkpoint and Hakone Shrine by boat, and finally go back to Hakone Yumoto by bus. However, the golden route is very crowded, especially on weekend. Therefore, there is a word reverse route. That is, we go to Moto Hakone first from Odawara or Hakone Yumoto by bus, and go to Togendai by pleasure boat. Then go to Owakudani and Soonzan by ropeway and go down to Gora by cable car and finally return to Hakone Yumoto by Hakone Tozan Tetsudo. The reverse route is said to be less crowded compared to the golden route. I have talked about Golden Route and the Reverse Route, and its transportations are covered by Hakone Free Pass. Of course, to access to Sengokuhara and Hakone En and Komagatake, etc., which are not on this route, another transportations, some of them are not covered by Hakone Free Pass, are necessary. Odawara Jo Castle. Odawara Jo Castle is about 10 minutes walk from Odawara Station and is the nearest castle keep to Tokyo. Originally, this castle was built in the middle of 15th century. After being destroyed in 1870, it was reconstructed in 1960. You can visit Castle Keep, and there is a well-illustrated museum about the history of Odawara. Also, there is a beautiful view of Sagami Bay and Odawara City from the observation deck on the top floor of the Castle Keep. This is not directly related to Hakone sightseeing, but I would like to introduce how to feel the speed of Shinkansen as one of Japan sightseeing. Shinkansen is a high-speed rail network and the pride of Japan. If you get off or get on Shinkansen at Odawara Station, I recommend you to watch the passing Shinkansen at the platform of Odawara Station, because probably you may ride on Shinkansen in Japan, but you cannot feel its speed while riding. I will show you the video of the passing Shinkansen at Odawara Station I took. Please take a look. Hakone Tozan Tetsudo Line. Hakone Tozan Tetsudo is a full fledged mountain railway that opened 1919, now connecting Odawara and Gora in Hakone. Therefore, it is an indispensable transportation for Hakone tourism. 
This railway is modeled after the mountain railway in Switzerland. It employs switchback system to climb the steep slopes of Mount Hakone. We can see the switchback operation, that is the change of direction of the train, and the driver moves to the reverse position at three places between Tonosa Station and Mianoshita Station. I will explain the notable data of Hakone Tozan Tetsudo. There are the steepest railway slopes in Japan in Hakone Tozan Tetsudo. The steepest angle is about 4.57 degrees, having about 2.4 meter difference in height between the front and the end of Tuka train. There are also the sharpest curved sections in Japan, its radius about 30 meters, between Ohiradai and Miyanoshita, and Kowakidani and Chokokonomori station. Because this railway traverses Fuji Hakone Izu National Park, so the line was carefully designed to limit the impact on scenery. Suzuhiro Kamaboko Village Suzuhiro Kamaboko Village is in front of Kazamatsuri Station of Hakone Tozan Tetsudo. Kamaboko is a fish product, and Kamaboko of Odawara is very well known in Japan. Since ancient times, the Sagami Bay facing Odawara has thrived as a castle town blessed with fresh and abundant fish. Suzuhiro is one of the most famous kamaboko companies in Japan. Many varieties of kamaboko, sweets, local beer, and sake are available here in Suzuhiro Kamaboko Village. Kamaboko making experience also can be enjoyed. Museum of Natural History Official name, Kanagawa Prefectural Museum of Natural History is about three minutes walk from Iriuda Station of Hakone Tozan Tetsudo. Because this museum is located between Odawara and Hakone Yumoto. Many tourists pass through here. However, I think this museum is a must-see if you have a children aged over six years old, elementary school kids. Because this museum has high quality exhibits, not only children, but also adults can enjoy them. We can learn about solar system, history of the earth, evolution of life, etc. Ishigakiyama Ichiajo Ishigakiyama Ichiajo is a historical park and a national historic site accessible by taxi from Iriuda or Odawara Station. From this site, we can see Odawara Jo Castle like this photo. Access to here is a little bit inconvenient, but this park is renowned as the place where the famous war lords fought in psychological warfare. It is said that the famous warlord Toyotomi Hideyoshi made the castle here, and he showed the castle to Hojo Kuran of Odawara Jo Castle as if he made it look like it was made overnight. So Hojo Kuran is said to have surrendered to Toyotomi by being intimidated after looking at this Ichiajo. Now we can see the stone foundation of the castle. 
Also, we can enjoy good French and cakes by famous Japanese chef. 箱根湯本箱根湯本 is the terminus of Odakyu Romanska and is the gateway of Hakone Hot Spring Resort. The arcade from the station are lined with many shops selling souvenirs, food, and sweets with the typical hot spring town's atmosphere, which is often aired on TV as a barometer of crowd of sightseeing area. Also, Hakone Tozan Tetsudo begins to climb the Hakone Mountains from here. Hakone Folklore Museum, seven minutes walk from the station, has sober but sincere exhibits where we can learn about the history of Hakone Hot Spring. Miyanoshita Fujiya Hotel 富士屋ホテル in 宮ノ下箱根 is four minutes walk from 宮ノ下 station of 箱根登山鉄道 .This is one of the three most famous historic hotels in Japan, along with Kanae Hotel in Nikko and another hotel in Nara.Its business operation started in 1878. The appeal of this hotel is its construction with a mixture of traditional Japanese and Western architecture style that was popular during the Meiji period 1868 to 1912. And it is also known that many celebrities have stayed here, including John Lennon family, Charlie Chaplin, And Helen Keller, etc. Hakone Open Air Museum. Hakone Open Air Museum is three minutes walk from Chokoku no Mori Station of Hakone Tozan Tetsudo. This museum is known as the Japan's first open air museum. Which opened in 1969, and no doubt is one of the most famous and popular sites in Hakone. It is a very fascinating place for both adults and children. I think everyone can find a favorite sculpture that stands out against the beautiful nature of Hakone. Gora Park. Gora Park is about five minutes walk from Gora Station, the terminus of Hakone Tozan Tetsudo. This park is Japan's first garden in French style, opened in 1914, having a tropical plant garden, a tea room, etc. The stone made columns and hand rails inside the park look old. And decorative. We can feel the history of the park. Hakone Art Museum. Hakone Art Museum is about 10 minutes walk from Gora Station that opened in 1952. The main exhibition of this museum. Are collections of Japanese earthenware and ceramics from the BC to the Edo period 1603 to 1867. Visitors can enjoy both the works of art and its beautiful garden with 200 maple trees which change their colors in November. ケーブルカー The cable car connecting Gora and Soonzan 
that opened in 1921 is an indispensable transportation to visit Owakudani along with Hakone Tozan Tetsudo and Hakone Ropeway. Originally, this cable car was made as a transportation for both the people of Gora Villa area and Hakone tourism. Same as Hakone Tozan Tetsudo, this was also modeled after the cable car in Switzerland. Here, I will give you one advice to avoid crowds. When there is a long line of people waiting for the cable car at Gora Station, I recommend you to walk to Koen Shimo Station and wait the cable car there. You can almost certainly ride on without queuing. At that time, please be careful not to forget to take a ticket that proves you got on from the station. Hakone Ropeway Hakone Ropeway, which connects Sounzan, Owakudani, and Togendai, is one of the most exciting transportations in Hakone. This ropeway's notable aspect from the point of safety is because it runs over the active volcano of Owakudani, the poisonous gas such as sulfur dioxide concentration is always monitored by several sensors. So its operation is sometimes suspended due to the high concentration of the gas. People with weak respiratory system need to confirm the information of the day before riding on. There is a kit with portable oxygen and wet paper towels inside the cabin, so we can use them when feeling unwell. Owakudani Valley Owakudani Valley is one of the most famous spots in Hakone. This place is the second highest in Hakone, which is 1044 meters above sea level. From ropeway, we can look down over the volcanic landscape with active sulfur vents and tendrils of steam. However, at this time, by looking at the bottom carefully, we can confirm man-made devices and pipelines there. What are they? The answer is that hot spring water is made by mixture of pump-up water and volcanic steam at the man-made devices and are delivered to Gora and Sengokuhara to make up for the shortfall of hot spring water. We can learn about this function at Hakone Geo Museum within the area. Botanical Garden This botanical garden is in Sengokuhara and is outside the Golden Route. So usually many tourists use bus from Gora Station. Official name Hakone Botanical Garden of Wetland is at Shisekai Mae bus stop of Kanko Shisetsumeguri bus literally means tourist attraction sightseeing bus. When you get on the bus at Gora Station, please wait and ride on at number two bus stop, not number one. This unique botanical garden that opened in 1976 displays most of aquatic plants seen in Japan and has a specially designed ecosystem consisting of man-made hills, rockeries, 
ponds, streams, etc. This garden is also renowned as a place where the Japanese imperial family members visited several times in the past. Ladik Museum Hakone This museum is also in Sengokuhara. So usually many tourists use bus from Gora Station. Ladik Museum that opened in 2005 is at Hakone Ladik Bijutsukan bus stop of Kanko Shitsu Meguri bus. Its route is the same as that of the botanical garden. As information, the distance between botanical garden and the Lalik Museum is within walking distance. This museum houses more than 1,500 collections such as jewelries, glasses, and interior decorations. We can appreciate his decorative arts talent and creative inspiration. Another highlight is that we can feel elegant while having delicious tea time inside the Orient Express that Lalik was in charge of interior decoration. Reservation is necessary. Hakone Glass Museum Because this museum is also in Sengokuhara. Many tourists use bus from Gora Station. Hakone Glass Museum that opened in 1996 is at Hakone Karasu no Mori bus stop of Kanko Shitsu Meguri bus. Its route is the same as that of the botanical garden the Lalik Museum. This is the Japan's first museum specializing in Venetian glasses. At the Experience Studio, both adults and children can enjoy crafting own glass accessory. Also, at the cafe restaurant La Canzone, we can enjoy seasonal pasta while listening to Italian performance canzoni. Pola Museum of Art. Pola Museum of Art that opened in 2002 is at Pola Bijutsukan bus stop of Kanko Shetsumeguri bus. Its route is the same as that of Lalik and the Glass Museum. This private museum has an exceptional collection of 19th to 20th century French painters Monet, Matisse, Cezanne, etc., which were collected by the Polar Cosmetics Group CEO Suzuki Tsuneshi. Another notable feature is the museum's contemporary building itself that is built underground in consideration of the surrounding environment, which also makes the exhibition room's temperature stable. Pampas Grass Field To go to Pampas Grass Field in Sengokuhara from Gora Station, you take Kanko Setsu Meguri Bus from number two bus stop and transfer to Hakone Tozan Bus Togendai Line at Senkyo Ro Mae and get off at Sengoku Kogen. This field attracts many tourists, especially during autumn season when grasses turn gold color. There's a signboard like this at the entrance of the promenade. I have never encountered a bear, but this signboard shows there is a possibility to meet a bear depending on season and time. 
ユネッサン。There are three ways to visit ユネッサン、depending on the situation.The first one is 箱根登山バス箱根町ラインフ m 小田原 or 箱根湯本。The second is 観光施設巡りバス from ゴーラステーション。Finally, 箱根登山バス bound for 箱根湯本 or 小田原 from 元箱根エリア。At first, when you come to u n e s a n from ゴーラステーション、be careful to get on the bus from number one bus stop, not number two. ユネッサン is a hot spring theme park. There are various types of unique baths, such as coffee bath and wine bath, etc. And there are also spacious indoor pool and outdoor pool with a long water slide, where we can enjoy them wearing bathing suits. I recommend here to especially Tourists with children. 岡田アートミュージアム is next to ユネッサン。So the access is the same as ユネッサン。岡田アートミュージアム that opened in 2013 features its large collection of East Asian ceramics, sculptures, and paintings. In the very modern facility. The most famous aspect here is its giant artwork modeled after Fujin Raijin or Wind Deity and Thunder Deity displayed on the wall of the building. We can appreciate this giant artwork while soaking in foot bath facing the building. With drink and sweets. Chisuji no Taki waterfall literally means waterfall of thousands of threads. It's about 8 minutes walk from Okada Museum. Lake Ashinoko boat cruise. Sightseeing boat cruise on Lake Ashinoko. Is another main attraction in Hakone tourism, along with Owakudani ropeway. Like this map, there are two sightseeing routes on Lake Ashinoko. That is, one is connecting Togendai, Hakone Machi, and Moto Hakone. And pirate ships are used on this route, covered by Hakone Free Pass. The other route is connecting Hakone En, Hakone Checkpoint, and Moto Hakone. Ships like this are used on the route. However, this is not covered by Hakone Free Pass. The reason for this is because two different companies, Odakyu and Seibu, operate their own cruises on Lake Ashinoko. This is one of the results of the Battle of Mount Hakone, which is the common name of the Hakone development competitions between the two companies from around 1945 to 1968. In this slide, I will explain about upside down cedar on Lake Ashinoko. That is a term known since ancient times. At first, I will show you the image of upside down cedar I drew. Like this picture, upside down cedar refers to the reflected image of the dead cedars sticking out of the water surface on windless day. In actuality, It is written in the records of the Edo period that travelers such as the German physician Engelbert Kienfer saw the upside down cedars on Lake Ashinoko. Also, it is confirmed that there are still standing dead trees at the bottom of the lake. 
However, today we cannot see them because the sticking parts have been cut off 3 to 4 meters below the water surface for the safety of boat crews. To show these processes in order, Lake Ashinoko is a dammed lake formed about 3,000 years ago. So, number one. It is thought that there were forests around here before the formation of the lake. And number two. The forest sank to the lake when the lake was formed. Then number three. The sunken trees died with time, and they came to make upside-down cedars. And number four, today, the sticking parts have been cut off for the safety of boat crews. Hakone Checkpoint Hakone Checkpoint is about 7 minutes walk from Hakonemachi Pier or 2 minutes walk from Hakone Sekisho Ato bus stop of Hakone Tozan bus. This is a reconstruction of one of the checkpoints put in the Tokaido Road in 1619 by the Tokugawa government. So here we can learn about the role and the function of the Tokaido Road and the Hakone Checkpoint during the Edo period, 1603-1867. In this slide, I will explain about the Edo period, the Tokaido Road and Hakone Checkpoint in detail. Edo is the former name of present-day Tokyo. The famous warlord Tokugawa Ieyasu established the government in his domains Edo after winning the Battle of Sekigahara. And he and his successors grew Edo into one of the largest cities in the world by many policies and infrastructure developments. Emerging from the chaos of the warring state period, the Edo was characterized by economic growth, isolation from foreign countries, long-lasting peace, and the flourishment of arts and culture. Tokaido was one of the several highways across the nation constructed by the government, and it was the first and the most important road because it linked to Kyoto, where the emperor lived, and Edo. So the Tokugawa government put the several checkpoints along these highways to control the movement of people and goods for the safety of Edo. Therefore, Hakone checkpoint was one of them. In this slide, I will explain about the roles of the highways and the checkpoints I mentioned in the previous slide. The role of the highways was divided into two aspects, official use and common people's use. Official use was closely related to the Sankin Kotai system or the mandatory system that the Tokugawa government required feudal laws called the daimyo to alternate living for a year in their domains and in Edo. Therefore, the highways were used when daimyo's processions were held. Furthermore, in the system, daimyo's wives and heirs were required to remain in Edo as hostages when daimyos were away in their domains. This became one of the backgrounds of setting the checkpoints. And along with economic growth, the highways were also used by the commoners who traveled for business, pilgrimage, and entertainment. 
Like these, as many people began to use the highways, the government put the checkpoints for keeping its policy and for the safety of Edo. As a result, the highways and the checkpoints contributed to the long-lasting peace and flourishment of arts and culture during the Edo period. Amazake Chaya and Old Tokaido Road This Old Tokaido Road refers to the original route constructed by the Tokugawa government in the Edo period. Amazake Chaya is at Amazake Chaya bus stop of Hakone Tozan bus Hakone Kyukaido line connecting Hakone Machi and Hakone Yumoto station. This rustic tea house has been open for about 400 years and still offers the same menu as the Edo period. Amazake is a sweet rice drink with no alcohol made from rice and fermentation agent known as koji. Another must see when visiting here is because Amazake Chaya is located along the old Tokaido Road, we can see the old Tokaido behind the tea house. There is also a small museum next to the tea house, detailing the history of the old Tokaido. In this slide, I will explain about the geographical feature of Hakone in the Tokaido Road. Since ancient times, it is often said that Hakone is the most difficult place to pass through in Tokaido Road. What does it mean? I made a graph showing the height above sea level of the current national road number one, which is almost the same route as Tokaido. From this graph, we can confirm that Hakone is the highest and the steepest, that is, the most difficult place with 800 meter height in Tokaido Road. And we can imagine that the Edo period travelers had difficulty when walking in Hakone because of its steep slopes, especially on rainy or snowy days. So we can understand why the road is paved by stones. Narukawa Art Museum Narukawa Art Museum is about two minutes walk from Motohakone Pier or Motohakone Ko bus stop of Hakone Tozan bus. This museum, opened in 1988, houses many masterpieces of contemporary Japanese paintings. We can also appreciate rare Chinese jade and ivory carving collections. Another charming feature of this museum is the view from the panorama lounge facing Lake Ashinoko. On clear day, Mount Fuji can be seen behind the red tree gate of Hakone Shrine. Hakone Shrine Hakone Shrine is about 12 minutes walk from Motohakone Pier or Motohakone Ko bus stop of Hakone Tozan bus. The shrine buildings are hidden in the dense forest but are well advertised by its huge red tree gate standing at Lake Ashinoko. This is called Tree Gate of Peace because this was built in 1952 to commemorate the San Francisco Peace Treaty with Japan in 1951. And the characters displayed above the gate, meaning peace, were written by the then Japanese Prime Minister Yoshida Shigeru, who signed the treaty. Hakone-en 
駒ヶ岳ロープウェイ and 駒ヶ岳 To access Hakone En, we take Izu Hakone Bus, Kojiri Hakone En Line from Odawara or Hakone Yumoto Station. Izu Hakone Bus is operated by Seibu Group, which runs Hakone En. So please do not confuse with Hakone Tozan Bus by Odakyu Group. Hakone En is a resort complex. Consisting of aquarium, Komagatake ropeway, pleasure boat, and Prince Hotel, etc. This area has been developed and managed by Save Group. Therefore, the attractions, including the pleasure boat and ropeway, are not covered by Odakyu issued Hakone free pass. We can also enjoy the amphibious bus. Which dives and cruises on the lake. There is also a beautiful view of Lake Ashinoko on clear day from the top of Komagatake. Kuzuryu Shrine Kuzuryu Shrine is about 24 minutes walk from Hakone En, which is the best way for foreign tourists. This shrine is renowned for its love deity and attracts many young women, especially on the ritual called Tsukinami Sai, which is held every month. On the day, Izu Hakone's pleasure boat is operated for worshippers from Moto Hakone Pier. Enoura Observatory Enoura Observatory, which opened in 2017, is located on the hill facing the Sagami Bay and can be accessed by JR Line from Odawara to Nebukawa, and the free guest bus is available from Nebukawa Station. To visit here, advance reservation is necessary. After applying online, you can pick up the ticket. At the 7 Eleven convenience store. Enoura Observatory is a unique facility consisting of various structures such as an art gallery, stone stage, sophisticated gardens, bamboo forests, which are designed and created by Japanese artist Hiroshi Sugimoto. In this slide, I will explain about the phenomenon which happens at the 100m art gallery, which is one of the structures in Enoura Observatory. This gallery is designed and set so that on the morning of the summer solstice day, the sun's rays rise from the Sagami Bay and take several minutes to make their way down the full length of this gallery space, like this picture. On the other hand, this iron tunnel is situated so that on the morning of the winter solstice day, the sun from the Sagami Bay sends its light through the 70-meter tunnel to eliminate the stone placed at the other end 